which have been nominated as model electric mobility cities of the future. It's only fitting then that my our next speaker, I welcome on stage the co-founder and former CEO of Tesla Inc., Mr. Martin Eberhardt, to address this gathering, please. Good morning, honorable ministers, esteemed business leaders, and everyone in the audience. Thank you very much for coming and listening to me. I've been especially interested to learn about the startup scene here in Andhra Pradesh, as well as the green energy production. And I'm excited to, to, to be here at the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit. I've been a Silicon Valley entrepreneur since the very, my very first job as an engineer in 1983. That was actually the only time I applied for a job. Thereafter, I either worked in a startup company that I founded or I was recruited. The most famous of these startups, as was mentioned, of course, is Tesla, where I was the founder and the original CEO. Today, I'd like to share a few lessons that I've learned over my years as an entrepreneur. Hopefully, you'll find some of these lessons to be relevant here in Andhra Pradesh, particularly to those of you involved in startup companies, either as in entrepreneurs or as investors. My first startup company developed high-resolution graphics terminals, something that was technically interesting but not particularly relevant. My next startup company was the first company making e-books. This was also interesting, but otherwise not relevant. It was my third startup company that started a revolution. It seems unimaginable now, but in year 2000, when I started thinking about Tesla, nobody in the world was making electric cars. No established car companies, no startup companies, and most people didn't think electric cars were even possible. Tesla proves them wrong, and shows that the future of automobiles is absolutely electric. Today, every legacy car company in the world knows that their future is with electric cars, and there is a rich ecosystem of EV startup companies around the world. The real problem that I saw in 2002 was climate change caused by fossil fuel consumption. I did not start out assuming the electric cars were the answer. Rather, I came to this conclusion by researching the well-to-wheel energy efficiency and carbon footprint of every kind of propulsion system I could find. Everything from petrol, diesel, hydrogen, natural gas, propane, electricity, and more. Somewhat to my surprise, the math proved that electric vehicles were by far the best choice. This was the beginning of Tesla. Starting a car company in 2002 was absolutely crazy. No new car company had ever succeeded in my lifetime. Because it was such a crazy idea, it was at first impossible to hire anyone with automotive experience. And so we started off with just beginners, people who had never done electric cars in their life. I think if I had known how difficult it was to start an electric car company, I might not have done it. But I think that my own naivety and the naivety of my founding team was necessary for us to be so bold as to start a new car company based on a new technology. We had to learn about automotive safety standards and crash testing. We had to learn about automotive suppliers, learning that suppliers generally were not interested in supplying to a small startup company in California. We had to discover the inherent safety issues with lithium-ion batteries and learn how to solve them. We had to figure out how to manufacture, deliver, and service cars. There were so many difficult problems that had to be solved that had to be solved on a tight, tight budget. However important naivety may be for starting a company, it is just as important to face your problems and get over them. In a startup company, it's also easy to be hyper-focused on the product you're building, solving the technical problems that are in front of you. It's easy to forget that you're also building something else that you're building a company, and the early people that you hire, the, the way you interact with your team, the policies that you put in place, all of these create the company and will define it for the near future. In 2002, the idea of climate change was, this, was caused by humans and was still debatable. Today, 21 years later, this is a settled question. Climate change is real, it is an existential problem, and we are the primary cause of climate change. Do I think that replacing all of our cars with electric cars will solve this problem? No, of course not. But it is a start. The EV revolution was the best that I could do at the time with the resources that I had. 
We have a long way to go, and it was the best I could do. We all have a long way to go, and we need all of us to be focused on learning how to live in this world sustainably very soon. I am hopeful that this is the beginning of a green revolution that will get us there, not a green washing wave that will get us nowhere. And so here are a few of the lessons that I bring to this Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit. Do something that's really worthwhile and solve real problems in this world. Be bold. Try something new, but face your problems when they arrive, and build great companies as you build great products. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Eberhard, for your wonderful words. Now.